As I already said, I want to show you something about our fully automated workflow system. It's a combination of uh, our Evetic service system with the modules ECMM and our Evetic fleet management system that is powered by Print Fleet. So my co-host or co-presenter today is Dennis Kramer. Dennis will tell you more about uh, this feature where we can have this fully automated data collection and processing in Evetic. And I will tell you how we get this data processed in Evetic to have your operations uh, work autom automatically. So first, because I saw that a lot of participants are a first time Evetic uh, contacts. So that means I take the opportunity to tell you something more about the Evetic organization. Um, we are a software developer in the business for around 25 years. And we have offices throughout uh, Europe and one in Asia and also one in the UK. And we service about, well, maybe 500, 600 customers in uh, about 30 countries. Um, these 30 countries uh, do, do speak other languages as well. So we have uh, Evetic available in about 10 languages. And the customers difference about the size of 500 to 185,000 MIF. So from small to big. Um, just a brief introduction to the Evetic organization. Only one slide, not to take too much time uh, to spend a lot of time in it. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Uh, I think I've sent you all uh, a confirmation and an invitation to this webinar, so you have received my email. Or you can also contact your uh, local contact person of Evetic, of course. Good. As said, we have developed uh, uh, and implemented at many customers a dedicated and broad software solutions for the document management system, management industry. And has done that for almost 25 years. We know exactly what the challenges have been throughout these 25 years. And especially uh, the last few years, there have been a lot more challenges. Volumes declining, prices under pressure and you name it, etc. We acknowledge that. And uh, that's why we say the automation of processes is not enough anymore. The industry is looking for solutions to support them to be more in control of the business and also to improve the profitability. That is one of the reasons we have started to develop tools or functionality to support that. Our ECMM, uh, that stands for Evetic Consumable Management and Meat Reading, and Evetic Fleet Management System are a few examples of that. Another example is our BI solution, Business Intelligence Solution, which will have a, a, a brief glance at some dashboards I will show you at the end. But later this year, we will uh, organize uh, a separate webinar about this. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you well enough in control of your profitability? Cutting costs is one thing. But improving profitability is not only about cutting costs. It's also about finding areas where you make less profit or even a loss. And act on that to turn them into a more profitable service or contract. And I'm showing you now, you now some questions we have asked some of our customers and some of the people in the industry. And uh, they gave us a feedback of that. And uh, one of the things is calculating and billing metering is, is still a manual job. Surprisingly, uh, it is. It's some uh, of your colleagues in the in industry, they still import data from fleet management systems 
as a file or as an email and then manually uh, connect it to their contracting system and calculate it manually to uh, invoice. And if you are a multi-branded MPS provider using multiple fleet management systems from vendors, that could be an option. And uh, your new devices, how do you connect it to your fleet management system? Is that easy being done or is it a manual job and uh, time consuming? And another question we ask them, your consumable fulfillment, aka sending toners, is that a time con consuming job? And most of the people we have talked to, which do not have our solution, it is uh, a time consuming and a manual job. So time to organize a webinar to show you that things can be done automatically. For instance, our ECMM takes care of all processes regarding meter readings billings automatically. Our EFM connects all brands automatically with the DCA Pulse from Pinfleet. And our EFM also connects new devices automatically when they are connected to uh, EFM and ECMM. ECMM automatically generates shipment orders and can buy them if possible. That's the things we are going to show you. My part is the Evetic service part and something about the Evetic API we built uh, with Printfleet. And Dennis Kramer will tell you all about uh, the technical part of this integration, why we are doing so much, so many things automatically. Okay. Good. If we have done this, then I'll show you a, a glance of Evetic. What do we offer? This is the ecosystem. The input is coming from uh, devices, machines, whatever, using, uh, 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 for in this example, print fleet. We process them in our ERP or service management system with all the func functionality we offer. And the output is, of course, tone shipment, invoicing our dashboards from the BI tool, etc. So helping you to be a more uh, productive MPS provider and cut out all the manual work for you, at least as much as we can. Now it's time to hand out the, pres the presentation to Mr. Dennis Kramer. Dennis is the Director of European Sales and Business Development from Printfleet Europe. And we have partnered with him for many, many, many years. So I'm now giving over the presentation to Dennis. Good. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you, Renee, for the, uh, for the introduction. It is my pleasure to, uh, to introduce uh, today the Evetic Fleet Manager program uh, powered by Printfleet. It is based on the, uh, the next generation Printfleet technology, um, which some people have heard about, but many people may not have heard about yet. And it's very tightly integrated with the Evetic uh, core application. For those of you who do not know Printfleet yet, we first give you a quick overview of what uh, Printfleet is, who we are, and uh, basically what we do. And I'm just... Yeah, so Printfleet is uh, considered to be a global market leader in remote print management software. Uh, our software is used in more than 150 countries by more than 5,000 MPS providers. We are completely dedicated to remote print management software. That's, that's basically all we do. We have 20 dedicated developers and support engineers uh, working on our, uh, on our programs. I think we're known in the industry also for the high quality of data that we are collecting that we're optimizing. And as a result of our very strong relationships with manufacturers, we actually are in, we are capable of actually collecting all the data from the devices, whether that's in the public MIP or the private MIP of the uh, of the devices. Uh, we have a, a very long-term relationship with Evetic, going back more than 10 years, and very recently we entered in a more strategic uh, partnership. Actually, that resulted into the uh, into the, the, the program called the Evetic Fleet Manager, and I think many many customers. Uh, of, uh, of Printfleet or Prospects, both Printfleet and Evetic actually will see this as a huge benefit. 
for their operations. So let me explain to you a little bit about what the Eventic Fleet Manager is. Before we do that, let, let's take a look at the challenges. So on the left side, we have a customer network, there are devices running, and I actually want to have the meter readings, the supplies data, and the service data into my Eventic application so I can do contract billing, supplies fulfillment, and field service. This is basically in a nutshell what we are, um, what we need to do. And the question is, how do I get this data into my Eventic application? And there are very many different ways to do that. Uh, data collection can be an email. Uh, the question, of course, is, is email good enough and how much manual work would that be? If I have multiple brands, do I use multiple tools? And how easy is that for me to use multiple tools? What about data quality? If I use one tool from a manufacturer and try to use that tool for uh, machines from a different manufacturer, can I get all that information? And I think more very recently, what, which comes up more and more often, is you may go to a customer and say, I'm going to install a data collection agent on a PC, and the customer may say, I only have laptops, I have no PC in my office, no server anymore, we're all in the cloud. What do you do then? And the question is, of course, what's happening with this data that you're collecting from my machines? Where does that end up? What about, what about security? Now, let me explain to you how the Vatic Fleet Manager program addresses, basically, all these various topics and how the program works. Actually, the Eventic Fleet Manager consists of two different elements. There's Eventic Fleet Manager Cloud, and there's on, in the middle, and there's an Eventic Fleet Manager data collection agent that resides at the customer location. Now, from the cloud, you can deploy a data collection agent. And deployment means basically simply an email with a download link of a completely pre-configured data collection agent. So it can be completely pre-configured. There's no need for you to go and enter that DCA once installed at the customer to make any changes. All the modifications can be made from the cloud. And also configuration. So if it needs to be reconfigured, you don't need to go back to the DCA at the client. You can still do that at the cloud, and the cloud will automatically apply the configurations to the data collection agent. And something which is new, uh, which we have not done, and I think it doesn't exist in the market yet, if there are new devices coming to the marketplace, the new data collection agent as part of the Eventic Fleet Manager doesn't need, doesn't, itself doesn't need to be updated anymore, which is, may seem strange to uh, many people, but we have developed a technology where the data collection agent goes to a remote depository and automatically finds out the latest updates available. It doesn't need to be updated itself. It just needs to have updated device information on how to collect information from devices, which is a huge benefit. Um, in addition, the data collection agent is now uh, available for multiple platforms. So not only on Windows, but also on Mac OS X. I remember with my 10 years with Printfleet, I would always ask this question. I had to say, no, sorry, you need to put a PC on that network. We have that now. But also, I think very more importantly, you can install it on a Raspberry Pi, the little network box. The customer says, sorry, I don't have any Windows PC to install it on. Go and here are my machines, come and collect the data manually. Now say, no, no. We'll put a little box, Raspberry, Net, uh, Raspberry Pi network box on the network, run the DCA from there, and it operates exactly the same as the DCA running on Windows on Mac OS X. Now, once that DCA is deployed, it starts basically scanning the network and provides information back into the system. Now, differently from uh, previous technologies, the DCA typically, the old DCAs would scan the whole network, get all the data, and send it over to, to the cloud or to another system. This data collection agent technology does a split scan for meters, supplies, and service. And what you see here is the minimum scan interval you can define. And I think for meters it will be okay if we actually collect the meters once a day, and maybe supplies every um, maybe every two or three hours. But you can even scale it down to 10 minutes. But what's important, service data delivery can be due in 30 seconds, because we have split the scan intervals for those different topics. You can now scan basically every 30 seconds and get the data into, into the cloud, which is close to actually real-time monitoring of, uh, of a device. Now, once that data is in the cloud, the next question is, how do I get it into my Evetic application? And, and so, while still many systems today use email with a CSV file or an XML that's uploaded and mapped, that, there's a much better way to integrate with the Evetic core application. That's by using APIs. And Eventic and Printfleet have worked together to work on a very sophisticated application programmable interface for the two systems to speak very closely together. Now, people may, familiar, may be familiar with what an API is. Some people may not. So let me explain to you an example of an, um, of an API. Uh, basically, we all use APIs every day. We may not always know it, 
But if you use Facebook, Netflix, LinkedIn, Amazon, Twitter, Google, you use basically APIs. And let me give you an example of an API. Now, if you Google for a flight, for example, say, give me all the flights from London to Paris. You may remember in the past, a few years ago, what you see on the screen. You got all these different websites with all these different flight information, and you had to go and visit them. Today, you may have noticed, Google now populates in the search results immediately the airline, the time the flight is, and the price. How does, it, how does Google know that information? Well, Google uses APIs that speak directly to the databases of the airlines to actually pull the data and populate it immediately into, into Google. So very easy, convenient, directly speaking to the databases of the airlines. And wouldn't it be nice if the Evetic application could do exactly the same thing? And, and it does. So when the Evetic application needs information, says, I want this information now, you don't need to import a file. The Evetic application goes on out to the cloud immediately, instantly, and picks up the data information from the cloud. And that basically means the data is available for the Evetic user at the fingertips. No need to import data, no need to create mapping and imports. Just the information is instantly available, just like the Google results are available in Google when you, when you search for flights. Uh, and basically, that all will basically give you a complete end-to-end -end automated workflow, where you may have uh, workflows today where you need a lot, of, a lot of, spend a lot of time actually installing a data collection agent, maybe or getting the information in, setting up email exports, etc. It's not required anymore. This is completely running fully automatically. If you're in fact that you say, I want meter reads, you click on the meters and you get them. If you say, I want to have supplies data, you get it. If you say, I want service data, you get it instantly. So summary is of the Evatic Fleet Manager, next generation end-to-end -end automated remote fleet management. It eliminates the use of traditional complex and time consuming workflows, actually saving time and money. It works with devices from all the manufacturers. And there are some, some manufacturers actually, well, Samsung, for example, where the DCA is embedded inside the device. That information is, uh, is also available. That can also be fed directly into the Evetic Fleet Manager Cloud. Data election is available for Raspberry Pi, Windows, Apple Mac. Easy to deploy. No need to visit a client to basically deploy a data collection agent. You know, very close to real-time communication, 30 seconds for devices to get service lists. Very tightly integrated with the Evetic application, and our engineers from both sides have basically worked very closely together to work on this bi-directional API connection. But the Evetic system, the API of Evetic is also working very well with existing print fleet customers. So if you're already a print fleet customer that uses print fleet division or print fleet enterprise, you can benefit from these same APIs and actually feeding the data in your application. And I think from our perspective, a very positive way, this Evetic Fleet Manager is available from Evetic. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I have to thank you, and I hand it over back to Rene. Thank you very much. A little bit around, um, in respect of the time, we planned it to 10.30, but like yesterday in our webinar, we will uh, use another 10 minutes for this. So I hope you still have time after 11.30. OK, this is the print fleet demo. You see here uh, the machines connected and mapped. Uh, it's being done because of the MAC address, serial number, ID, etc., which we have set up together with print fleet. That's a one-time job. and. Here you see also the meters who are also mapped. There are color meters, monometers, and also the consumables you see. So this is our API, this is our middleware solution where it's all being connected together. This is the only thing I'm showing you because otherwise it's going to be too technical. But just to give you some information how we set up these kind of automated workflow things. Okay, let's go to Evetic. The Evetic system here uh, I prepared for you is to show you how we collect the data and how we process it in Evetic. We use some machines and contracts in it. 
this is a customer who has a contract with multiple machines and these machines are connected to the print fleet or the EVATIC fleet management system as it's been called now. What you see here, there are some rulings we have to set up because of toner uh, shipment and toner management. Uh, and that's the first thing I'm going to explain to you. How can we auto automate the toner shipments? Well, easy. We have connected all the machines. On the models, we have stated which kind of meters they have and which kind of toners they use. For example, if we choose this one or that one, it doesn't matter. And I click on one of the machines that is connected. I see that there are four toners available in the system with the number of units per tonum that can be printed, the coverage ratio. And I also see here, what is the last consumable date? And that was uh, today, uh, because we have collected the data. And that means when I collected the data, I know exactly what to do in the system. Does it give me any information of toners to be sent? or meters to be built. So that's the whole information. Another setting we have in this system is the order remaining days. The soon remaining days and the minimum toner level. These are very important to decide if we want to send toner on the right time to the customer. Like order remaining days, that means here's the number seven that I need to know seven days before empty if I have to send toner because I have to take care of shipment as well. Soon remaining days, that means in this case 10 days, look at other machines or other toners at the same location at the customer if we have to send it as well so we can combine the shipments. And the combination of the shipments or the combining of the shipments will be done automatically by Evetic because of the same location. The minimum order level, in this case, it's 10%. That means all toners that has 10% or less needs also to be shipped. That's uh, the settings we have to do in this uh, contract and the machines and the, what we call the M2M. Okay, good. Let's go to this machine. i show you what the settings of this special machine is. You see here, this machine belongs to a kind of model and this model has some meters, in this case, four meters, black and three colors. And you see here the remaining days or the rest days, the black toner has 1% left and it remains for three days. So in our system, that should come up to ship toner to. And that's what I'm uh, going to tell you because the order type says you have to ship toner because your M2M system says uh, you have to ship it. That's a good alert. Okay. Um, let's go to the machine card, which I have. So the black toner has to be sent. And uh, of course, if there are more Tony Cent, I'm just showing you one machine. But there are probably more machines who need more Tony who is now at the customer waiting. So where do I see that? We go to the order and we go to the M2M consumable preview. The M2M consumable preview clicks of or, or shows me for every machine I need toner for. So in this case, I have need, I need some toner here. And the status is default. That means uh, I need to ship these toners to these uh, consumables. And I can see also which ones are also reached the minimum level. There are two 
which have reached the minimum level, which I have decided to deliver. Okay, good. If I want to ship these orders, the only thing I have to do is click on create orders. But I deselected them, so I have to select them again. So I can create orders from here. If I want to click all orders, like default, that's all the orders who are outstanding, then these are all the customers that needs to be toner sent. I can decide here whether I will send them or not, because some of them uh, can last a lot longer. So I don't want to ship them. So that's why we have these kind of statuses in our system. But let's take the minimum level. Okay. Create the orders. What I've done now is I have created the orders to uh, ship the toner to. How can I see that? I go to order, go to complete and print, and it shows me on order type M2M, that is the print fleet integration, which toners I have to ship. You see here in this system, I have two toners I can ship because they are deliverable, and two toners I cannot ship because I don't have stock. So I need to order them first before I can deliver them. There's also a functionality in Evetic to create purchase orders, etc. I will leave that outside this uh, webinar because that's a different functionality. So there are two deliverable, these two. And unfortunately, in this demo, there are from two different customers, so they won't be combined. So if I want to deliver these toners, that's the only thing I have to do is create a packing slip. Uh, by creating a packing slip, the toners have an indication that they will be sent to the customer and the packing ship will be printed out. So it's ready to deliver. Also, the status when it's being delivered will change. It will change from deliverable to all delivered. So I hope I made it clear to you how we do uh, the toner shipment. To wrap it up, uh, I collected all the data from Print Fleet. And it's showing me that uh, there are some machines who need toner because they have reached minimum level or they are soon to be reaching the minimum level. So I generated the orders. And that's what you see here. I've generated orders that can be deliverable. And I have printed a packing slip. When I've done that, I can complete the orders, which will change the status in no status anymore because it's been delivered. When I've delivered toners, I can see in the machine which toners are delivered. I will show you in the machine card. Again, I'll close my screen. I'll go back to the machine card. Take this machine again. And I see here the new coverage percentage, which I've received. I've seen the latest status, the current reading, the order type, the article descriptions, and the levels. If I send toner to the customer, it doesn't necessarily peak here, because the only time the peak will be in here is when that customer actually replaces the toner in the machine. Then I see a peak, because then it's 100%. So we have a visual 
a visual ability of uh, what has been replaced in the toner. We also have something called unexpected refill. An unexpected refill means that the customer has put in a toner which hasn't been shipped by you, by yourself. He has put in another toner from another company or he has shaken the toner. That's also an unexpected refill. So this is a short uh, moment uh, of, of showing you how we can automize the toner shipments. There's one other thing. It's uh, the, the, what we call the meter readings. And the meter readings, that is very easily set up, which I'm going to show you now. I suppose you all have contracts where you state uh, the meter readings have to be done uh, every month, every three months to be built, etc. And depending on contract, what you should build. Do you uh, charge only the exceeding copies or you charge for the whole uh, printout copies, whatever. It's, 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 up, it's up on you what you decide in your contract. Okay, so let me see where I have some meter readings to do. I will put the date on 2016, so I'm sure I have something to read. Yes, it calculate quantity. I have six meters to import. In former demos and former webinars, we also did this. So we also collected the meters to be read also. So if we have put receive data here, you can see all the customers who needs to be charged and built for, which I haven't done before. So what's next? It's invoicing. I want to see which customers I need to invoice because of contract ruling and because of meter readings. As you see here, I, I'm showing you several examples. This is one customer. And this customer has to be billed for 1229 euros. Let us see the invoice. The invoice says, uh, by the way, the layout, you can define yourself. This is a Dutch layout because this one is a Dutch customer. I also have a, a German customer in it. Then you have a German layout, etc. So you can decide yourself what kind of layout and how much detail you put on this invoice. Showing you a German customer like this one that has a different layout and also a different language. So you can connect the language, the different layouts to the, to the contracts, to the customer. And this is a more detailed one. It says, uh, I have to charge you for black toner uh, for this and from this period to this period. And these are the meters I have read, etc. So you can be as detailed as you want to be. Okay, good. This is what I wanted to show you. Just a brief glance of how we operate with the data coming from a fleet management system, which helps you to automate your consumable fulfillments and your meter readings. Because it's very easy. When I want to invoice all these customers or a, a few customers, then I just have to create invoice any invoices will be created. That's it. That's the whole rocket. It's not rocket science. It's, it's easy to be done. So let me get back to my PowerPoint and tell you something more about the background of this. OK. Just give me a minute to start up my, back, my, my PowerPoint. Wait a minute. OK, good. So what I showed you is our Evatic ser service up, print fleet, connected. It's completely integrated. So you don't need to, to import files. You don't need to 
read uh, e of import emails in your system, it's all being done automatically in our API. I showed you the contracts, the machines, the ECMM setup, with an all-inclusive contract with multiple machines and multiple meters. I showed you the consumable fulfillment and setting up a fulfillment that delivers the right orders at the right time, like the order date, the soon date, and the minimum level. I showed you how we can generate the total deliveries. I showed you how we do the meter reporting and invoicing it. And what's next is I show you a little glance of our KPI dashboards, what we called. Because doing your processes, you also need to be informed about the profitability, about uh, where can I have uh, more uh, invoices from, etc. So this is an example of one of our customers who's using the, the, the dashboards and the BI tool uh, since about six months or seven months or something like that. We have done some analysis on this uh, customer. It's a German customer, by the way. That's why you see here a screenshot with German uh, headers. So I will explain what you see here. These are uh, the pages that has been printed. This the pages that is uh, the yield, what could have been printed. These are the toners needed. These are the toners that has been delivered. And these are the differences. So to look at this one, you see here an amount of 4,717 in red. That means I have delivered too much toner. Uh, too much toner, that means uh, it means too much toner beyond expected. Because I've, I've calculated this customer to have delivering uh, a toner of 680, what it says here, and I delivered 669, of 769. So I delivered 89 too much toner. That's a loss for, my, for, me, for me in my contract. I don't like that. So I'll, either way, I have to talk to the customer to tell him that he's not allowed to have uh, to use as much toner as he would like. And I would like to change that because it's a loss-making contract for me. But anyway, this, this gives you a good overview of how your toner management is going to look like. There are more with red, etc. So what did our customer do? He talked to his customers. I told them we are going to limit the toner deliveries because you are printing too much. And that's not bad, of course, he's printing too much, but it could be a higher coverage, higher than we have calculated in our contract. So we have to open up the contract because it's, it has no use to have a loss-making contract. Okay, that's an, another example of our uh, KPI dashboard. It's uh, contract profitability. Here you see that uh, almost 55% of my costs are related to toner. This is also from the same uh, German customer. The names, by the way, are not real names. They are fake names. So don't make a print shot and call all the customers because they are fake names. Here you see the models and the individual printers. Where do you do make loss? So this gives, all, gives you all a very good overview which part of your contract is making a loss. So in this case, toner is making loss. The spare pass doesn't make any loss. The travel, uh, the travel costs are here. These are labor costs. So you have a very detailed overview where your costs are at in the, in the contract. Another uh, dashboard I would like to show you is a complete myth overview. In this case, this is the same customer in Germany who is charging in advance about 30 million uh, pages. And afterwards, because our exceeding companies, there are more than 40 million. <gasps> this is very strange because every 12 months, uh, months he's charging 1908 machines for the exceeding copies. So that's not good for cash flow. 
what he did when he saw this result of the analysis, and he's seeing this dashboard every day, that he is talking to his customers to, to persuade them to have a more included volume at a little bit lower price. That's a win-win situation. And the cash flow improved immediately. The last dashboard I'm going to show you is the service performance. That's also from the same customer. Six months ago, this first time fix rate was 25%. It was 24.8%, so 25%. And when he saw that, he improved, he did everything he could to improve this because he now has a very good overview of how his service operation is performing. And he managed to cut it back to 10.3%. So that's a good effort. This is just an example how uh, we can help you to improve your business, to, give, to get you more in control of your figures, etc. So just a few highlights in our solution to you. Scheduling data processing user predefined per contract machine. That's something uh, you can set up easily. Which data do you want to receive at what time? Is it every morning? Is it every afternoon? Is it every 10 minutes? That's all about tone management. If you want to be a full, a full focus provider on MPS, well, uh, I think you should have a very tight schedule of uh, servicing your customers. Have a clear overview of consumable deliveries on machines, contracts, and defined settings, like remaining days, etc., soon to be expected. Absolute lowest tonal level for delivery. These settings make sure that you deliver the right toner at the right machines to the right customers on the right time, so he can continue printing. It also eliminates you for sending too much toner to uh, the customer. In this example I showed you, this German customer has saved about 10% on toner costs. And that's not sending uh, less toner. Of course, he's sending less toner because he has an absolute grip on the rest uh, level and the remaining days to be uh, sent out. Uh, but also the shipping costs. The shipping cost, you can combine uh, shipment orders. More toners to the same location from different machines. That's also a good one. And alerts on missing data. There are rules in Evatic, which we can set up, or you can set up as an application manager, that warns you when there is no data to be imported in, uh, or to have been imported from your fleet management system. So if you want to send out toner, there's an alert. See, I haven't got any data since last whatever date you have put in. Uh, rules to alert on expected refill. That's also I told you about. And also our M2M consumable preview. That's your dashboard to have a complete overview and processing tool to consumable fulfillment. It's stock checks, purchasing orders, shipments, etc., etc., etc. So. There are five reasons for you. If you're not a, a customer of Evatic yet, we have a full focus on the document management industry. So everything we develop, we think about, our complete knowledge is dedicated to the document management industry. And all the workflows we have thought about to make your life more easier, that's being developed in Evatic. And that's why we think you achieve the maximum return on investment results if you're working with Evatix. I've seen many potential customers using several systems to do the same process as we do it in once and also automatically. So that's why I say, please have more attention to Evatix. And if you want to like to know more, please send me an email or contact your contact person at Evatic. I know you have been in contact with Evatic, some of you, so get in touch with it.